Hey everybody, welcome back. I am going to be on TV. Yeah, so uh, tomorrow morning, KGW, that's the, the NBC affiliate here in Portland, is going to be featuring the Festival of Flowers that's in Portland right now uh, on their morning news segment. Uh, this year's theme of the Festival of Flowers is Be Friendly Portland. And they wanted to have some beekeepers come and talk about bees and display bees in an observation hive. So they contacted my club and I am going to be spending a few minutes, uh, not very long, but it is live TV uh, and I don't get to make my own edits. <clears throat> there will be no edits. Um, anyway, uh, I'm going to be bringing down this observation hive. I borrowed this hive from a friend. I have uh, you can't see it in the frame right now, but underneath the hive, I have a little nuke box that has some bees in it. I'm going to transfer the bees from the nuke into the observation hive tonight so that tomorrow morning I can just take them and go. This is a pretty cool little nuke observation hive. It just has a five frame nuke box down below and then room for one frame behind the plexiglass up here on top. And there's a queen excluder in between the box and the uh, observation window so that you can put the queen on the frame up on top and she won't go down below. It's always fun for people to be able to see the queen because she's not a bee that you see very often and people wonder what queens look like. shirt I'll use to cover the plexiglass otherwise the bees just try to coat that plexiglass with propolis because they don't like to be in the light they like to be in the dark inside the hive keep it nice and dark It's 5.45 in the morning. I'm not used to being awake at this time. But I'm out here at Pioneer Courthouse Square, ready to talk to KGW about bees and about Tour de Hives, which is coming up on June 25th and 26th. It's a fun little backyard apiary tour in Portland where you can see beehives and talk to beekeepers. So go to tourdehives.com and you can buy tickets there if you're in Portland or if you're gonna be in Portland during that time. This is Pioneer Courthouse Square, where they're doing the Festival of Flowers. This year's theme, Be Friendly PDX. And they have the flowers arranged in hexagonal designs. Drew Carney is over there interviewing the architects of the design right now. standing at Pioneer Courthouse Square this morning in a beekeeper's outfit because bees are the theme of this year's Festival of Flowers. We have flowers behind me at the square this morning, but a much better look at this year's design can be had by watching the video that camera Steve shot 
just yesterday. So this gives you a few different perspectives, a few different views of this year's theme. It's Be Friendly PDX, the name of the theme of this year's festival. The B in that title stands for the bees that you may keep in your backyard that make honey, those kind of bees. Whitney Farms, by the way, uh, providing a lot of the flowers that were seen and are still seen this year at the festival. And real quickly, Bill, before I bring you into the mix, I'll let our viewers know the display will be here through next Tuesday and then next Wednesday starting at 8 a.m. It's the annual flower sale at the square. Now, Bill Catherall stands next to me this morning. He is president of Portland Urban Beekeepers. So again, bees, the theme of this year's Festival of Flowers, and you brought some bees with you here this morning that we can check out in the Observation Hive. Uh, it seems like in the last, I don't know if it's five, six, seven years, but in recent times, uh, this backyard beekeeping idea has become a lot more popular. Is there a reason for that, do you think? Well, that was fun. Quite a little adventure there this morning. I've got the bees back home, tucked away in their little nuke box, and they're already back to work as if nothing happened. Right now, as you watch this, I am very close to getting 10,000 subscribers. Yay! Wow, I never thought that would happen. And I wanna thank you, the viewers and subscribers for making that happen. So thank you.